Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Gypsy Lee. I'm Matt Gerber, and we are Scarlet and Harmony. For fans of bands like Thy Order's Murder, Infinite Annihilator, Lorna Shore, Fit for an Autopsy, please feel free to check us out at Scarlet and Harmony on YouTube, Spotify, and anywhere else you may stream music. We'd really appreciate it. Hope you enjoy. What's up, dudes? How are you guys doing, man? We're doing great. Can you hear us okay? You sound fantastic. You look even awesome. better. Hell yeah. <laughs> Fellas, for those that may not know you guys, please properly introduce yourself. Let me know whereabouts in the world you are at the moment. Plug anything. Promote anything. Well, I'm Matt Gerber. And I'm Gypsy Lee. We're Scarlet and Harmony out of Ravenna, Ohio. And uh, you can find us on Facebook, YouTube, Spotify, really anywhere under Scarlet and Harmony. Hell yeah. And uh, how long have you guys actually known each other for? Oh, shit. Probably eight years, but the band's yeah. only been a thing for about a little over, over a year. year. A little over a year we've been a band. Were you guys in previous projects or just homies that were that were like, you know what? We like the same music. Let's kick some ass and lay down some tunes. Well, Actually, I was in a bunch of metalcore bands as a vocalist when I was a kid. And then uh, I stopped doing that kind of music for a long time, started writing more grungy stuff. And then me and him met up a few years later, and uh, he told me he was still doing heavy metal vocals. So I wrote a couple instrumentals, like the 5150 and Departure. Called him, was like, hey, write some lyrics to these. We'll see what happens. And then that's how we got here. Yeah. <laughs> are you on? Are you on a phone or a webcam right now? Webcam. Okay. Just, I, I know it's probably awkward, but your studio looks fly in the background to me. Like you guys <laughs> killed it on the setup. Is there any way you can kind of do like a little like tour pan panorama yeah. thing? Uh, we can we'll try. Hold up, let me get out the way. Oh, I love the vinyl like all over in the background too. Are those are those clearly like just Ooh, not very glass. good, worthy of listening to vinyls? Or I know it's more for the aesthetic and the look, but is there yeah, is there any rhyme or reason to what is on the wall behind you? They're mostly Colombian. I love uh, Colombian records, mainly because of Led Zeppelin being signed, or Atlantic, sorry. But uh, most of the good vinyls are on this wall here in their cases. Yeah. Okay, cool. Hell yeah. I'll give you a look at this wall here, but these ones yeah, are most amps. <laughs> How long does it take to, to set all that up? I love the cross patterning too with the, the red and the black. Um, Most of it is buying it, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it does add up. It does add up for sure. But overall, I mean, it's been, we get it done pretty quick. I mean, we started in a bedroom and I just have all kinds of shit to record music with. So I was like, fuck it. I'll use my whole upstairs as a, a studio. So we built the whole entire upstairs. Like we have a drum booth and everything in the room over next to us. That room's also completely soundproofed and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, we did. not long. Uh, we acquired a lot of shit very fast. If that answers your question. Yes. Yeah. Th that is awesome. Hell yeah. Um, you guys obviously know JB. JB, uh, go ahead and, and rattle off a question for the boys. Yo, I see a Kurt Cobain poster in the back. Um, I am a huge Nirvana grunge fan. I just want to know the story behind, um, well, you liking Kurt Cobain. I just want to know what, what was your uh, story, you finding him and discovering his music? Well, it's, it's really all of grunge. But uh, my dad was in a lot of grunge bands when I was growing up. So I always had that kind of music around, and he was always playing music of the sorts. And uh, I don't know, how do you not buy Nirvana? Right. <laughs> I, everyone tattoo. at least has heard tattoo. of Nirvana, for sure. Tattoo on my wrist here, if you can see. Oh, too high. Got the tattoo on my wrist there. There it is. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Hell but, yeah. Uh, no, just straight towards good music, I guess. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Hell yeah. We appreciate you guys being ultimate supporters, by the way. That is that's really cool of you guys to do that. We, we've been pushing you as hard as we can every single day, and we will continue to do that. Uh, before we play some music, is there is there a particular song in your guys' catalog that you're a little bit more proud of than, than the others? I want to start off with that one and kind of just pick your brain about 
A, why is it a little bit more important? And you just talk about like the writing process of that song. What do you think? I'll let you. If you got, if you got them, smoke them. <laughs> <laughs> That's the cue. That's the cue right there. Smoke weed every day. Oh, I'll put that lighter, I got it. Uh, In, Indica like sativa or hybrid? What's what's your preference? In the couch. In got the it. couch. In but the we couch love heard. everything. True. Yeah, I'll little... <laughs> yeah. oh, can't see it. Try to get oh, a better view of it. That is that is tight. Hell yeah. Uh but yeah, what's what song would you would you like us to start with? I'll let him pick this one out. Uh if we're going with something off of Spotify. Does it have to be? I got I got the YouTube queued up right here also. Oh, I was just saying, uh, every, out of everything we have out right now, proudest I am, it'd probably be uh, cutting out the cancer, personally. It's obviously, the one of the newest ones, but why that one in particular? Just, I feel like it sums up the EP that it's on pretty damn well, and it. I like the way that my vocals came out. It, like, it just sounds best to me is is there plans to expand for live reasons for live purpose reasons as far as like getting a drummer getting this or is or is is well, are we're you... always always looking for more members that there's not a lot of people in our area that want to do anything but country <laughs> i got you don't really work with the deathcore kids <laughs> we may know some people i i didn't know that that you guys needed help in that department so message me after the show and, I, and i'm gonna i'm gonna work on it tonight I will do. At, at least shooting you, you know, somebody that I know in the area that may be a drummer or a bassist or something to to help fill in the band a little bit. But let's go ahead and jam Cutting Out the Cancer. We're hanging out with Scarlet Harmony. Please support them. Hit the subscribe button. I got the bell. I never miss sh Nothing. How many, how many, I mean, you, during the video that we're watching, you can see that you guys clearly both play a lot of instruments each. How many instruments can you individually each play? Oh, bro, I, I do vocals. That's all I do. Oh, that's all you do? <laughs> I just do vocals. I oh, try to play drums sometimes. I try to play bass sometimes, but I ain't good enough for what we do. <laughs> so Gypsy's the one bouncing, bouncing around, hit, hitting everything. Yeah, that's me, man. <laughs> What what would you say is your was your strongest aspect as far as uh, an instrument? Like, what do you feel most comfortable behind? I think I'm, overall I'm a better songwriter than anything. But if anything, I would have to say probably either drums or electric guitar. For show, sure. for show. Sure. Did you guys bring the hot sauce? Yes, we did. What what hot sauce are we working with today? Ghost pepper. Yes! Excellent! Okay. Excellent. 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 I'll match your ghost pepper with some ghost pepper. Oh, yeah. You, yeah. you know how we do. We do a little trivia. What TV or movie, TV show or movie have you seen the most? Do you feel confident? If we ask you trivia on this movie or TV show, you will not get stumped. You want to pick one or you want me to pick one? We don't really watch any of the same stuff. You know that 70s show? I know that 70s show a little bit. That 70s show. Let's go with that. Fair enough. Jamie, <laughs> ask the fellas one more question and let me look up seven, that 70s show trivia. Is there, is there anything um, when it comes to your everyday music listening, um, is there anything that would be a shock to us 
uh, if you told us that you listened to it. So like if it's like uh, Britney Spears or some like uh, Backstreet Boys or something like that. Oh, uh, dude. I think we both have our few. There is <laughs> I, I am the I listen to everything person that really listens to everything. My playlist has genuinely gone from like Ritz the Rapper to Jim Croce to Beethoven to Cannibal Corpse to Thy Art is Murder, <laughs> back down to Frank Sinatra. <laughs> that, that is everything. That's an eclectic mix right That's there. That's good. Um, personally, I like a lot of Blind Melon and uh, Janis Joplin. How many Janis albums Joplin. did did Blind Melon have? What else? Uh, they Their first album, really, was what caught it, my attention as far as like Tones of Home, Sleepy House and change but because the the vocalist passed after the second album right i think the second i think they did release a third album after he passed that was pre-recorded stuff but yeah he passed uh really early on in their their whole shadil that's r.i.p that's a bummer um all right well let's see if we can stump you we've asked this question before regarding the 70 show but it's been at least six or seven months i doubt anyone (laughs) remembers maybe you guys know though in that 70s show, there's a scene where there's a water tower. The whole gang's painting a marijuana leaf on this water tower. And one of the members of the gang falls off. Who falls off the water tower while painting a weed leaf? The answer is now. What was your answer? The answer now? Yeah, Kelso. It is Kelso. Of it course it was Kelso! <laughs> So you're safe. You're safe that for one hot. round. You're safe for one round on the hot sauce. <laughs> Do you guys ever drink sake? Sake, uh, one time. I'm Not a fan of the some. taste. Pretty good high though. On a, like a like a you were at a sushi bar or something, and that's the only reason why. Uh, I forget what the place is, but yeah, they cook your food right in front of you. Okay, like a like a hibachi grill kind of thing. Yeah, it was a hibachi. Yeah, that's cool. Hell yeah. yeah. No, that that shit was uh, it it tastes horrible. <laughs> it does. They have flavored ones. I, Some are better than others. Um, I, I was actually I'll sent a can. sake box, which I didn't know what the box was for, but the wood does not absorb the shot. Hell yeah! Thanks for doing a shot with me, by the way. Yeah. And uh. Here. There we go. <laughs> what is that? It looks like it looks like a see-through glass of gentleman's jack. This is just a fancy bottle with a bunch of crown. Just a bunch of crown vanilla. Oh yeah. Smooth and tasty. Also, so BG, bought it for me. I figured to get it some use. <laughs> your sake container looks like a, a bottle of lighter fluid. It totally does look like it. <laughs> it's it's not, but you're not the first to say that. It totally does look like it. It's not, uh, but uh, I, I fellas, was concerned. I was like, hey, <laughs> you're like, hey, what the f-? Gypsy? I know we we talked off stream about new uh, DAW systems as far as guys recording. What uh, what are you guys plans in, in 2023 to have just a little bit better recordings and in general, um, just attack attack the music industry? What do you guys got planned that you're allowed to tell us about? Well, we got a lot of music. Yeah, we got a definite EP planned out, and we're debating on an album. But we got a single to drop for every month throughout the next year or so. So you got the twelve Later. and twelve. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, excellent! That's awesome. Excellent. Yeah, the EP, the EP drops on the first. There's two songs off of there that are yet to come out, so those will be dropping, and then every oh. month after that, we'll have a. So song January first, we can expect new EP out. Black Sheep of yeah. a Failed Family drops January 1st. Awesome. Yeah, the rest of it. So there's three of them out, but on Spotify, uh, everything drops on New Year's. Yeah. Yeah. But as far as getting, you know, better equipment, I want to move up from my Behringer box that I record with. And I also want to try to get off of GarageBand. Do you first. do you mic the Behringer? Uh, the Behringer, I do direct plug-in half the time. Okay, so you DI it? Yeah, but I did just buy a new guitar 
that I think will come through this amp a lot better. And uh, we also have the extra mic now and soundproofing booth to record off of the amps. So I am going to be moving from that. And we actually do in uh, the new song we have coming up in a few months called Dimming Light. Hell yeah. Excellent. Excellent. So January 1st, lots of stuff coming out. Dimming Light's coming out. We've got a 12 and 12. You guys are playing this out way ahead. I, I like it, man. You've, there's some thought put into this. Wait yeah, well, we are also planning on moving, too. And oh, okay. uh, building an actual booth. And uh, I opened my own LLC as far as uh, Toon World Records to record other people's music. So I'm going to be getting a bunch more equipment and uh, just overall game and production will be better. Also, T-shirts. We are planning to do T-shirts on our own yeah okay cool. we do have some out now technically we gotta <laughs> we have troubles keeping up with the supply but we do have a little bit of merch i'm rocking a hat now hell yeah I, there's there's kind of ways around like that's what we do we we don't have any merch in house we use the streaming thing that we uh stream labs and they have like a merch system where you can like upload your own stuff and it's just like a per order basis thing instead of having to pay you know 1200 bucks for yeah and however was, many shirts and that that gets annoying like coming up with the 1200 bucks and then you're sitting on it for a while like the per order way i could help you with that too if interested but uh uh let's see so so we got the 12 and 12 coming out what so after after january 1st so let's say it's february 1st have you pre-mapped out each individual single that's coming out on those days like kind of to an yep, extent they are they're set to release on all streaming platforms the first month, the first day of the month of every month. So you've already done this all the way to December. Yeah, we are wow. pretty much booked. Yeah. I, I mean, I interview a lot of bands. I never heard anybody say that before. That is cool that you've got it that far mapped out in advance. Like most bands are are stuck thinking what they're gonna do two or three months from now, but you guys are already living damn near in the year three thousand, <laughs> almost in twenty twenty four. That's awesome. Uh, dude, we we refuse to let this die in any way, shape, or form. We are com committed to making this work at some point. I'm committed enough. Our logo is tattooed on the back of my hand. We are we're doing this. Hell we're yeah. doing this, or we're gonna die. Goddamn trying. <laughs> I I love the hustle. I love the commitment. I love the hustle. JB, my goal is to stump them. Hit them with one more question. I'm gonna figure something out regarding stumping these guys real quick. Yo, I am a a nerd when it comes to music production and i want to know you said you want to go away from garage band uh do you have your eyes set on a certain DAW system i don't have a particular system i want to use but i do plan to be looking into multiple variants i've heard a lot about logic pro and logic x and stuff are you pc or mac uh i have mac and pc so the pc i have is actually in 10 times better shape than my mac could ever be oh for sure. So I would like to eventually make that change when we move the studio, but that'll be later on down the road process. All I want to say is don't discredit FL Studio. It is absolutely phenomenal. Write and, it on board. Very, very. That's easy. probably the easiest one to get for free too, like in the torrent world. That's true. I was hoping. And I'm... I'm sorry. <laughs> my bad my bad uh, and, and it's even cheap like it's a hundred and something dollars even if you didn't want to tour in it it's one of the cheaper DAW systems that are out there I was... all right and do you know if it's cat uh, capable of using uh files that are pre-recorded off a of garage band so i could put it in there and just max up entire song okay i, I was kind of hoping you said mac because i was looking at some like old files that i have and I probably shouldn't say this live on Twitch, but I'm saying it anyway. I actually have the whole Ozone 6. It's now They're probably on like Ozone 12 by now, but I have Ozone 6 <laughs> completely cracked in, in a file somewhere. So uh, we'll hook it up. <laughs> we'll hook it up and let me know uh, what you think about it. I've got plugins for days. There's ways to, you know. Yeah, we'll be in touch. I, sure. I got to hit, gotta hit you up too, BG. What? Okay, I got you. I got you. No problem. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, let's uh, let's do some fun questions before I get back to the trivia. What is uh what is um let's see, Gypsy in one of your old bands. Tell me an absolutely terrible gig experience. Just just everything went wrong at this gig. Maybe uh, maybe not even your own band, but you just watched a band melt down on stage or something. Something went wrong. Tell me a crazy gig story. 
But we had what I thought was a great show one time. I was the lead singer for this band, and we were playing some, you know, janky bar. But uh, we all got really, they had a drink named after us, and they were on the house, and we were all 15, 16 at the time. So we're all drinking, and we were all fucked up. So we get on stage, dude, and we rock the fucking house, dude. We're fucking like, yes, dude, that was the best show of our life. When we walked off the stage, the owner came up to us and told us that we cost him more money than he would have ever made having us booked there and told what? us that we were never going to get anywhere in the music industry or anything. He said he's seen plenty of bars come through here and he knows which ones are going to make it, which ones aren't going to make it. And he told us we were on the lowest end of not going to make it. Wow. What and a, we, what a we, But we emptied his bar. <laughs> We emptied the bar. Like, everybody was like, fuck this, and left. That's how fucking bad it was. <laughs> I mean, we've all had bad shows, but at least... I've played to no one but a bartender before, so... I mean, I, I hear you there. There, Like, <laughs> literally, we go there, and there's, there's no one in the parking lot, like, whatsoever. And we unload, and none of the opening bands showed up. We were like the third out of fourth bands. Not one other band showed up. And then the bartenders right there. And they were like, you guys can just leave if you want. And we were like, hell no, we're still going to play. play the fuck out of this, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's like experience, at least just for, you know, nobody's watching. And we and we tipped the bartender fairly decent. We were a drinking group. And at the time I was in this particular band was an eight piece band. So. We we got we made sure the bartender got like at least 150 dollars in, in tips like to still like you know for yeah. hanging out and but it was That's basically cool. like a practice on a stage away from home and uh, that gig sucked but it is what it is. Um, <laughs> fellas, if you could if you could tour with any band, but this is for Scarlet and Harmony levels up reasons. Not this is my favorite band. It's it's because your sound is somewhat similar. Who would you be opening for? That's more you. <laughs> I mean, if I could open for anybody, I'd. That's a pretty good toss up between two different bands. Because I would love to open for Thy Art is Murder. And I would also love to open for uh, Fit for an Autopsy, which technically they're touring together right now. So if we could actually get somewhere, maybe. <laughs> That would be, I imagine, like, if some promoter would probably pitch you some form of pay to play, but that is seems like a possibility as far as being a local opener when they come around your way. They'd probably, like, again, make you be like, you know, give me $400 worth of ticket sales to be the opener. But sometimes, some people hate it, some people enjoy it and love it. But what, what, is, your, what is your thoughts on, on pay to play in general? I mean that that's more you dude. I've never played a show. <laughs> <laughs> um I'm more in it for the music and the experience than the money. So if I can play a better bar that has a better vibe, I would rather do that with shows that are or bands that are less likely known or well known than to play like a big venue with uh stricter less feeling and the uh experience. I don't know if that quite makes sense. It does. But, it it has its pros and its cons. I would say. Um, I mean, obviously, it sucks to if you're not able to sell the tickets, pay pay the money. But at the same time, there's not a lot of opportunities to open for a giant artist like that. Otherwise, unless you're kind of established, and then you don't really need that. So it if, kind of. If we had a, if we had all the pieces together, if I didn't play all the instruments and we had a band, I mean, I'd be absolutely pay to play. Or we could do our best to sell the tickets. You know, I don't know a whole lot of people, but we would sell the tickets and also pay to play. Yeah, anything to spread the word of music, man. Hell yeah, that is the most important thing. Spread. I like that. Spread the word of music. I like that. Uh, Scarlett, I do have another trivia question queued up for you, but we got to play another jam, man. We got to play another jam. Go ahead and call out whatever you'd like, unless you want me to go music video wise. Then I got you right here. Mm. What are we thinking? Which one do you want? I'm, I'm, I really think that Where Thou Came From is a better song than it's getting credit for. Where it's Thou Came <laughs> From. What, is this, what does this mean to you from a, a personal lyrical perspective? 
Do you want me to go? You wrote these <laughs> lyrics. Uh, just uh, if we if this whole world went to war, and if it was really down to a a basis of life and death, I think that we all should agree and remember where we came from as people, and uh, pull through together in a way that we don't fuck everything up for the next generations and generations prior. It's just a uh, remember who you are when it comes down to the very moment. It's important. Uh, for some reason, I picture like the apocalypse happens and like 99% of the world is dead. And like, this is where that the importance of this song is comes in. Like, just That's be cool awesome. to each other. Like, there's only a couple of us left. We got to treat each other with respect and love and and grow yeah. and repopulate. <laughs> Scarlet and Harmony, where thou came from. Let's jam it. Plus, we got to, of course, throw them on the pole. They're our guest today. I totally agree with you. I think that does deserve a little more love and respect on that particular song. That one, that one is one of my favorites from you guys for sure. Oh yeah. I want you to taste this hot sauce. <laughs> oh dude, I love hot sauce. I'm drinking it. I'm no ready. What. Okay, cool. <laughs> Let's see if we can get you to you know drink a little more. Sounds the like gang, in, in that '70s show, the gang all goes to a club. But one member gets into the club and does not have to show their ID to the bouncer. Who was the one member that did not have to show their ID to the bouncer to get into the club? So it's was kind it of like a Hot one in seven guess. It might have been Donna. Yeah, we'll go Donna. I think it was Donna, dude. Give me a hell yeah! That is correct. Damn it. I will I will sadly drink some more ghost pepper hot sauce because you guys have clearly seen that 70s show a couple of times. Well done. Yes, tell hey, yo, that tastes party. fucking good. Do you want to do a cannonball also? What's cannonball? Cannonball is um we gotta we gotta rip a device. Bong, bowl, something along blunt. Whatever. Then we gotta either take a shot, chug a beer, exhale out. You had me a bong oh. shot. <laughs> Heard. <laughs> had me at a loop. JB, what's another question you have uh, hey, uh, for Scott and Harm? A day to remember. <laughs> um, my yeah, last uh, question uh, would be. Fuck. Hold up. He's asking something. What's up, boss? My last question would be. If if you guys could have any amount of money right now, what would you get for what would what would be the first thing you would get for that studio? Shit, actual studio space. <laughs> <laughs> like he said, we're literally in his attic right now. Like we're literally just upstairs. We can't tell. It looks pretty roomy, honestly. Yeah, the angles. It's got a good bit of room. We can't tell at all. There's a lot of room for activities. Hell yeah. So, there's a the cannonball. Oh, yeah. Mouth is on fire. It cannot stop right, you guys, man. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Why would you hand me that shit? <laughs> <laughs> Got him! <laughs> <laughs> Got him! <laughs> Perfect. Hell yeah. Uh, let's. We only have time for a couple more questions, but uh, who is... I, without saying fear for an autopsy, or I forget the other thing you said. I'm sorry. 
Die Hard. Die Hard is murder, yeah. Um, with the exception of those two, who is the perfect feature for the next Scarlet and Harmony single drop on February 1st? Do you want realistic feature or someone we would love to feature? Give me both. Give me both. Honestly, someone I would love to feature, he is a very big inspiration for me as vocalist, would be Dickie Allen from Infinite Annihilator. I took way too much of that fucking hot sauce. Yeah, it's no joke over here, bro. Man, I'm on fire. <laughs> That's the fun part. The but torture. Someone I personally would like to uh, try to do a feature with just to do something that would be a little lighter that I think we might be able to set something up, you might be able to help us out with, is somebody that I heard from the show. I would love to try and do a feature with Ozzy Bear. Really? Ozzy yeah. Bear? What? Let's go. Oh, yeah. I talked Lately, I talked to Ozzy Bear... Uh, pretty much like every 48 hours because he's heavily involved in like this side project thing that I've been trying to put out for literally eight years. And uh, he's kind of like been deemed the uh, head in charge of the mixing and stuff like that. So that could probably be set up literally. And he's so quick. I sent him a track the other day. In three hours, he sends me back like 80% of it done. Like vocally and, oh and quick mixed everything. He just super fast. So... I'm sure oh, yeah, he would totally want to want to jump on it real quick, and that came out great. Yeah, that song that you made. Yeah. Oh, you heard the the during the timer today? The beginning? Oh, no, the the one that you made that he did vocals on. Yeah. Okay. So we, earlier today, when when I when we first went live and the timer, the things counting down, blah blah blah. I actually played the whole song, um, but I knew a lot of people wouldn't be in here yet. So and that and that version's going to be like altered and changed. Neither here or there. Um, Ozzy Bear, I think, will for sure be be interested. He he loves collabing with other people. He, he's a cool cat, dude. Austin's awesome. Hell yeah. Um, fella, send me out on on a high note, not weed related, but seriously, give me some some serious um, advice for for a band that is just starting up today, starting up tomorrow. Do not do this. We accidentally made this mistake. Don't do this. Or uh, a piece of advice somebody's given you that you really took to heart that you'd like to share with us? Go ahead, Ben. I mean, something I personally would suggest not doing, because it is something that we definitely did, and you can kind of hear it in the two demos we have out, Departure and 5150. When you go to record, make sure you're actually in a quiet room. If you listen closely to Departure and 5150, there are parts where you can hear uh, the TV we were watching in the background. There's one specific part in 5150 specifically. I can, if I listen real close, I can genuinely hear Kelso from that 70s show screaming burn. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. There's little, little, little tidbits, secrets just thrown in the background. Um you could also just throw like a like a limiter and open up the the gate on it fairly heavily, and that should like when you're not screaming or whatever, it'll just it'll like cut off and it waits for you to like make a noise and then it opens again. Uh, a word of advice from Tech Nine himself though is just do you, and the reward will be greater. Hell yeah, that is great advice right there. JB, I'm gonna switch it up and let you ask the last question of the day. When normally I take the last question. You can ask anything in the entire world. You got the final one, and we'll let them we'll let them go, and we'll check in with them uh, in the near future and do a follow up if that's okay with you guys. Absolutely, yeah. hell yeah. Right on. My my last question would be, with Scarlet and Harmony, say tomorrow would be your last day. What would be your message you want to tell the world? Always remember and never forget where you came from. It's the most important, man. You got to be humble. Stay, know where you came from. I like that. You guys are some cool cats, man. Uh, we'll talk later that. later tonight, I'm sure. Ozzy Bear can be reached fairly easily through the, the LBS chain, so I imagine this this collab will happen. Lickety Shout split. <laughs> For I have a good good split. You? What? Say that again. I'm sorry. I, I didn't hear you. So, Shout out to LBS for a hell of an interview and a review. Very real review and appreciate everything you said. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's my pleasure. And uh, we'll, we'll post this on YouTube tonight. I'll message you guys when it when uh, it's there. All I have to do is just edit out the music. Although, I'm not sure 
if when I did the reaction, I have to go back and look because I don't know if it triggered a copyright or not. And if it didn't, I can, on the rare occasion, leave the music in this interview. So I'll double check. Yeah, well, all the copyrights, so there shouldn't be any issues. Yeah. All right, cool. Then I'll just leave it in. That's, that's me if there is, and I'll have it resolved. Excellent. All right, cool. Very good. Hell yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, please support them. Hit the Go on Spotify, hit the follow button. If you go on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button just like that. I got the bell rung right there, so I don't ever miss anything whatsoever. If they, if they drop something, they just be like, we're not going to tell BG about this one. We're not going to tell him. <laughs> I'm going to find out! <laughs> you guys are awesome, man. I appreciate you. Thanks so much. You're, you're some All cool right, cats. Man. You're welcome you back anytime, for real. Scarlet Harmony! Yeah, yeah. Have a good night. Be safe. Fuck up. Cheers. <laughs>